Okay, in this Lumenzia tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a vignette on your image and then refine that vignette very quickly and easily. So let's get started. Okay, so if you're new here, be sure to click subscribe and then that little notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming tutorials like this. So let's get started. We've got an image that I took out in the Redwood Forest in California, and I've done some good work in Lightroom and now brought it into Photoshop because I want to add a vignette, but I, I know I could have done that in Lightroom, but I want to make sure that I refine it just a little bit. So I brought it into Photoshop and I'm going to use Lumenzia to do this. So first, let me just, it's a little tight. Let me zoom out, hold command spacebar to zoom out on a PC that is uh, control spacebar. And by the way, got a uh, Photoshop and Lumenzia keyboard shortcut list that you can get in the description below. Uh, so feel free to grab that. Uh, so I'm going to come up here to vignette in the Lumenzia panel, click vignette. It's pretty simple, does a really good and quick, easy job. It automatically uh, adds your vignette at a 30% opacity. I think for this image, I'm gonna just kind of mess around with it, maybe bring that up a little bit. I like that a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave that there, but you know, I've got some highlights that are in those edges that I don't wanna lose as much. I might even drag that up a little bit more. I don't often overdo my vignettes, but this is such a beautiful flower that's in the center. I really want to draw the viewer's attention to that. So if I want to make sure that I'm protecting my highlights around the edges, what I can do is come up here where it says preview. I'm just going to click preview and change that to if under. So we're going to use a blend if. And now I can choose a darks um, mask and I will choose D2 and let's see what that does. So it's left our vignette in place, and I'll show you if I turn this off, you can still see it's definitely adding a vignette, but it's protecting those highlighted areas that I still want to have, uh, but still adding that vignette to the image to draw the viewer's attention in. So we're getting that nice, um, the nice detail in the highlights there still in the rest of that clover. So I uh, hope this was helpful. If it was, again, please subscribe to the channel and uh, click notification so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. And hope this was helpful. Now you know how to add a vignette and refine it in Lumenzia.